Yo, what is going on, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys the finale for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, show some support by scrolling down a little bit, smashing that like button, and clicking that big red subscribe button if you haven't already. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually went to the Battle Stadium in Windon, which we are actually out front of right now, completed a bunch of trainers, and secured a spot in the final against the champion. We actually have a few battles left. This is like the final little tournament here. We're going to make our way into Windon and actually go here. Do these battles to take on the champion. We actually have two big things to do in this episode. So I hope you guys are excited. So show some support with that like button and all that. But we are actually going to register for this final little set of gym challenges right here. Not really gym challenges, kind of like battles right here. So I'm actually very hyped for these bad boys. Let's get into it. We're going to roll into the locker room right here. And look who's all chilling here. Every single gym leader from the past that would be. We got Ness of the Water. We got Pierce from the Dark. We got right hand from the dragon and all that but we're just gonna head straight into them look at all these boys we're just gonna head straight into these battles though right here by going straight to the stadium and we have i think it's four battles before we actually take on the champion which i'm actually very excited for but we also have to keep in mind in the last episode where we ended off chairman rose and mrs olena was actually playing something terrible it was the darkest day in galar so we actually have to keep that in mind but let's go we are here at the final champion tournament with our boy Leon right here. I cannot wait to actually face off with him. I know he's going to have that Giga Max Charizard. That thing is going to be an absolute unit. But look at this. All these gym leaders here. We have to first all the gym leaders again. Please don't tell me. I believe it's only like a couple trainers we have to first. I believe a few of them will be the old gym leaders and all that. So it's going to be cool to actually get back in here and first all these guys right here. But yes, actually, after we beat this game, we're going to be doing all different post games stuff on my Twitch. So make sure you go there and follow me. Link will be in the description below. We're going to be doing post game stuff like collecting the Pokedex, doing Shiny Hunt. And rank battles online and stuff, creating teams and all that. But our first challenger right here is actually going to be Bead. She has actually been a pain this whole journey right here. Always giving us trouble, thinking she's better than us and all that. But we were actually ready to prove once and for all that we are the better trainer right here. So let's go. What you want? She said she has a bunch of fairy types. Behind. Who's in my front spot? Actually, I haven't showed you guys my Pokemon yet. <laughs> I'll show it to you once we get into battle. I believe we have my boy Graplock, the fighting type, in our front spot right here. But let's hop into this first battle with bead right here she wants the sauce she wants the sauce i'm ready to whoop on her let's go we got bead chilling right here you are challenged by gym leader bead what you want she's gonna send out a mawal right off the bat mawal is actually dark and fairy type i believe i believe he got the fairy upgrade whenever fairy came out but let me show you guys my pokemon real quick once it gives us that screen what's up bead how you doing you ready to lose you ready to lose what you want yo but we here at the finale yo we crushed this game this game has been phenomenal absolutely phenomenal i've been loving it in every single way but let's go let's check out our pokemon real quick we got grab lock run the front spot followed by real boom scent scorch toxicity corbinite and my boy drenol bringing up the rear but we're gonna start off this fight with a nice little brick break to get us started here let's see what mall is gonna go with nope we strike first got fix my headphone real quick nice dude get a nice little damage off this you're gonna play rough here what you want? What you? Oh, that's some mean damage right there. That is some mean damage. But we are actually going to be able to take it out with a superpower, I believe. We're just going to go all out with this hit. Take her out with a superpower and then switch out of our Pokemon. Probably go with our either our Scent Scorch or our Drenol. Because this Dark will actually murk up on the fairies. Let's go. Who levels up? Oh, Grapple Lock and Scent Scorch. Both, both level 57 right here. We are crushing it. She's going to send out a Gardevoir. We're actually going to switch out to my boy Scent Scorch right here. He has Crunch, which I could actually do work against this Gardevoir. Considering we don't have any actual dark types, it's always it's good that we have uh, Pokemon that have a dark type move, so they're not going to be super effective to the fairy. So it's nice. What you want, Gardevoir? I actually wish you would add a Gallade. Gallade is a lot cooler Pokemon. <laughs> Gallade's more of like an attack Pokemon. She's more of just like a special attack and all that stuff. But let's go. She's going to use Calm Mind right here. Calm herself down. Lace her stats. Nice, beautifully. But it doesn't even matter. We're going to rip her up. Let's just uh, bring up. Brings up her special attack and her special defense, but I believe this is just a physical uh, uh, attack move, so that shouldn't really do much. That's not super effective, what you mean, but it still didn't work. I'll take that. Her defense is going to fall. I guess it's because she's uh, mostly psychic. I don't think actually does it. What, what move she just used? What's that do? I don't even know what the heck she just did, but she's dead. <laughs> Mark, later, card before Yo, we're going to be racking up this XP. Let's go, dude. Look at that. 2,000 for her. For Senta Scorch right here, we gotta level up Rapid Dash. Galarian Rapid Dash is gonna go out. We're gonna keep out our boy Senta Scorch to just chill out right here. We're gonna drop a nice little crunch on it. I think I believe it's super effective here. I believe Crunch will actually murk on this thing. I love the design of Galarian Rapid Dash. It's sick. Oh, Psycho Cut coming through. Doing some mean work, but not that much damage. Hopefully, we can one tap this little girl right here. That's not super effective. What you mean? I thought it is. What's she healing up for? Oh, the wish that the Gardevoir actually sent out is actually helped her out right there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. She's going to Psycho Cut again. I thought this was super effective. 
I guess because they're both, uh, it has two types on it, it's not super effective. But the crunch still does work in damage itself, so we're just actually going to just keep spamming this move. And actually finish off this Galarian Rapidash. Ooh, did some work on me. Did some work on me. Did you want? See you later, little Rapidash. Beow, beow. I love the crunch animation. Just two little quick chomps, and they're done. They are done for right there. What you want? What you want? He's going to send out Hatrini. We're actually going to switch out our Pokemon here. We're going to roll out to our Rillaboom here. Can we actually Dynamax right now? I would love to get a quick Dynamax out here. And just start whapping on people with like Max Overgrowth and all that stuff. What you want? Oh, what you want, fool? How many Pokemon does she have left? If she has two, I will go for it. If she has three, then eh. I'll save it. I will save it. But Hatrini is sick, dude. Look at this Pokemon. Level 53. The levels actually have been stepping up right here. Let's see how many Pokemon. Oh, she has one, dude. Of course, we're Dynamaxing here. We're going with this Max Overgrowth right here. We actually should have used Max Darkness. That probably could have did some work on this bad boy. But all these Pokemon are Pokemon that we haven't seen before. So it's going to be pretty cool to actually fill up my Pokedex. And, well, at least my seen ones. Because these are all the final evolutions. So it's cool. I actually never seen the Rapidash, the Hatini. Um, we saw the Gardevoir, I believe. We might have saw the Gardevoir. I'm not too positive. But... That's fine. We Dynamax right here. We got my Rillaboom Boom ready to just rock out right here. Give some weapons out. What you want? Oh, she's going to Gigantamax her high teeny right here. Doesn't does this turn into a cake? No, Al Creamy turns into the cake. I do not know what hat or hat teeny actually turns into. Let's see. Oh, oh, that looks sick. I actually really do like the design of, of this Pokemon right here. I think it's cool. And I love the typing of her. What is it? Psychic and Fairy. That is always such a strong typing. That's why Galarian or Rapidash is going to be such a strong and viable Pokemon in like ranked battles and all that. Same thing with Hatrini right here. Let's go. Let's drop a max over here. Can we take it down to at least half here? Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly what I want to take it down to at least half. So our next hit can actually finish off this battle with Bead. And we can move on to the next one, which I'm hyped for. Come on, come on, come on. We actually changed the battle for She's got max flare. What you mean? <laughs> How's this thing have Max Flare and it one taps my roller boom? Jeez. Jeez, yo. Was not expecting that thing to actually have Max Flare. Like, there was no way that thing had Max Flare. <laughs> and there goes a roller boom down in a burning flame right there. This is absolutely murked on. We're actually going to pull out. Oh, she's going to heal up a little bit. That hunk of junk. We're actually going to pull out our. Who do we want to pull out here? We're going to pull out our Dreadnought here. We're gonna get our Dreadnought a little bit of loving in here. He has the Amulet Coin, which is gonna double our, our prize money after we beat this, because, you know, money is always a good thing in the Pokemon games. We can actually spend it up later. We're gonna send out a nice little Lockjaw right here and try to do some work. Let's go. Lockjaw it up. Nice little damage there. We're chilling. Now the Pokemon cannot run away. Like, it really matters. But she's gonna use Max Mindstorm. This is gonna take out my, since my Dreadnought. Jeez, down to 33. She's gonna heal up a little bit, so hopefully we can use a strong enough move to actually take this out. I don't know if I should go for the Scald or the Liquidation right here. I think we're just going to go with the liquidation and go for the finishing hit here. Oh, are you kidding me? What'd she use? A full heal? A full restore? What you mean? <laughs> She's using a full restore. We're going to liquidation here. I know I should have went for the skull to try to get that burn on it. That would have been wonderful to actually try to get that burn off there. Okay, but there we go. Drops down off its Dynamax form. We're going to go for a skull. Hopefully, we can get first hit here. We do get first hit. Can we drop a, can we drop a burn? Can we drop a burn? That'd be nice. Come on, drop a burn. Oh, no! Dreadnought done. Dreadnought done. This hat Trini is an absolute unit. Absolute unit right here. Just gonna murk on us real quick. Now, let's keep rolling out here. We're gonna drop in with our boy Toxtricity right here. Toxtricity should be able to just finish this thing off right here with either Boom Burst, Boom Burst Poison Jab, or Discharge. Whichever one should actually do work. I think we're gonna play it safe with the Boom Burst right here because this thing is just such a strong and normal move. So, let's go. Let's rock out here. Come on, take it out. Let's go, Toxtricity, my boy, finishing off this first battle. Now we can actually heal up our Pokemon and all that good stuff. And move on to the second battle. I believe there is uh, three more left that we have until we burst the champion. I think so. So let's actually heal up our Pokemon and get going with that. Yo, let's get it. Rolling out to the second battle in this gym stadium right here. I don't know who it is, but I switched out. I put my Toxtricity in the first spot. And... Just to have, kind of have me as that normal move to start off and then that discharge, the toxic and the poison jab. So it's a nice little way to kind of like just a nice little start off Pokemon there. But let's see who we have. Oh, even better. We have Nessa, who is the water gym leader. She was the second gym. She probably, her Pokemon are probably upgraded now. For real, they're probably slamming on the upgrade scene. So what could we actually do have our Toxtricity out here? Because we have discharge. We can actually zap up their little water Pokemon. Kind of run this real quick. But let's get going, Nessa. What you want? You ready to battle again? You ready to battle again? What you want? What you want? Galissapod. That thing is actually water and bug. So I do not know if this is going to be super effective or not. 
But if not, dude, we can, like I said, we always have Boom Burst right here. And we have Poison Jab, Toxic, all that good stuff. Let's see how we're going to start us off. Maybe we, did we see this Pokemon before? Hopefully it can tell us what's super effective and all that. Let's go. It does not. We're going to still go with the Discharge right off the bat, considering it is Bug. And water, maybe this will be super effective. Yes. <laughs> See you later, dude. Merc. There we go. Perfect. I think we're just gonna run this battle with discharge and absolutely just keep murking on these things. Who's got next? A Barrascuda. Is that thing part ground? I'm actually gonna check the info thing. I'm gonna check because this thing could be part ground. If it's just water, we're murking on it. But if it's part ground, we'll be fine. Let's see. Let's hit the info button and see what it is. Let's click on this thing. It's just water. That's fine. That's actually a good way to actually see different things right here. You can just see. Oh, it's gonna use drill run. Gee, no! No! That thing crit it. Of course, it crit it. It kind of screwed over everything that I wanted to do. But luckily, we do have a real boom. Chilling in the back line. You can kind of just start running things, too. Considering most of her Pokemon is just water. I know she has a Dreadnought, too, which will be water and rock. We can be able to, to one-tap that up. But this thing is actually so fast. It's actually going to hit us first right here. Hopefully, it doesn't crit again. We should be chilling here. Or freeze us. Don't you dare freeze us or something. We flinch, of course. Now, it's going to drop another one on us and do even more damage. Eee! <laughs> Let's go. Super effective. There we go. Get out of this drum beating off. This should one tap it. Say night night Barrascudo. Bill, Bill, Bill. See you later, dude. Let's go, dude. Barrascudo is such a strong Pokemon. For real, dude. Its speed is through the roof. That's why it's going first right here. Even though we're a couple levels ahead of it, its speed is so strong right here. It's just going to murk on us every single time. But she's dropping out of Sea King. We'll be able to one tap this thing up with drum beating once again. And we, we. We definitely should be able to outspeed the Seeking right here. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried right here. Drum beating. There we go. Get the outspeed. Finish off this Seeking right here. This will 100% one tap this bad boy. Seeking is not a strong Pokemon whatsoever. But we are just running this right here, which is nice. Even without our Toxtricity. Get some nice XP. Here we got Pelipper right here. Oh, this is where. Uh, we're actually going to switch out Pokemon. We're going to switch to our Dreadnought here. But this is where. Our Toxtricity would have came in clutch because Grass is not super effective to a Pelipper. Consider it is part flying and it is part water. But I think Rock will be super effective to it because it is a flying type here. So we got Rock Tomb chilling right here. We're actually just going to send it. We're going to send it. I don't think it will one-tap though, but I think it will do more work than what my other thing would. Or like my, what my Grass moves would. But Pelipper starts to drib drizzle, which means all the, uh, what's it called? All the water moves are going to be uh, leveled up here. It's not a big deal. Can that one tap? No, yeah. See, I didn't think it was going to one tap. That move isn't too strong. I actually should have gave Dreadnought a better rock move. Like rock slide or something. That would have been type nice to actually run in here with all these flying types that could be in here. But there we go. We can actually finish this off. Is she going to heal? Yeah, she got a full restore, which isn't a big deal. Just slow up this Pelper's death. Make it a little slow death for this Pelper. Unless we can actually crit here. Actually finish off here. That would be wonderful. No, no crit. But jeez, how come that did less damage? I think it's because the rain came up here. But the speed actually fell. We're just going to rock tomb once again and finish off this little Pelipper boy. Pelipper is so funny looking. I love how his big mouth and his big, like, I don't even know what to call that. His big beak. But I'm talking about, like, the opening in his beak, like, how he can hold so much, like, food and stuff in there, which is hilarious. But we're going to drop a Dreadnought once again to finish this off. And we're just going to go back to our Rillaboom and actually just Dynamax here and finish off with uh, Max Overgrowth. Just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that, dude. That's how easy Nessa is right here. You got the rain, but... If this Dreadnought has Swift Swim, that is an ability that makes your speed faster in the rain. So if it does have Swift Swim, Swift Swim, it will actually outspeed us. But I don't believe it should. I don't believe it should have Swift Swim. But we're just going to Dynamax here. Say Night Night with this Max Overgrowth. See you later. Bye, Dreadnought. He's going to Gigantamax, but this, this should totally one-shot. 100%. I'm not even playing around anymore. Like This, this is a 100% one-shot. If not, you guys are going to get a big, what do you mean, into the mic. <laughs> Look at this. Get some nice HP back a little bit. We go up by 40, which is nice. That's always good about Dynamax. And you get some a little bit more HP. Let's go. She's going to Gigantamax right here. I love the uh, designs of some of the Gigantamax Pokemon. Like, I kind of like Dreadnoughts, how it's kind of standing on its back legs now instead of standing on all four. Which is pretty dope. And he gets a bigger shell on his chest with, like, three little lines. And dude, look at his horn on his head. His horn's dope. His horn is so dope, but he is rock and water, so we are kind of like double super effective on this bad boy. This is why I'm saying this should 100% just one shot and take it out here. Real Boom's going to use the max overgrowth. We're going to wave goodbye. Bye, Dreadnought. Yay. See you later, dude. Like I said, one shot. Night, night. I ain't even going to let you get that chance, fool. <laughs> but thank you, Nessa. Give me my cash now. Give me my cash. We're going to be moving on. We have, I think, one or two more trainers in this little battle scene right here. But let's go take out that it's red and all and actually finish off this battle right here, which is just going to be nice. Let's go. Oh, everyone's leveling up. 
He wants to learn body slam. Nope, nobody's learning body slam. Nobody's learning body slam. That move's alright. I don't think it's too good. Good, not even good enough to be on my team's move list. But there we are. Defeated Gene or Gym Leader Nessa right there. Look at this. After we beat Nessa right here, the results and the tournament bracket are right here. And we're actually going to move to the final, I believe, with Rayhan right here. So let's get it, dude. I'm going to lead off right here. Rayhan was actually our toughest gym challenge right here in the whole game. Like, that thing actually struggled. He had a Duraludon, which was like that ice-looking dragon Pokemon. He was so tough. So I believe we are versus Rayhan right here. And the last match kind of determines who's going to face off against the champion right here. So let's see. Oh, no. We got B right here. We got B. But wait a minute. Hmm. No, I think we versed B, and then we versed the next bracket, because I think B was in a bracket. I think I read that wrong. I think I read that wrong, but we got a fighting type right here, B right here. We're going to give her the quick little weapons. We're going to give her the weapons right here. What do you want, B? She was actually cool. She has all fighting type. So who do we run this with? Like, Corvo Knight, yo. We got to switch out to Corvo Knight as soon as possible. We got our Toxtricity right here, but I believe this is just fighting. It's not... It might be part flying, actually. So we might actually roll out with the Discharge right off the bat and see if we can actually take this thing out. And just switch to a Corp Knight and have that thing run it with Drill Peck and Brave Bird. So is this part flying? It is, dude. Bye, Hal Halucha. Bye-bye. High Jump Kick. Uh-oh. It missed. And look how much damage it does to itself. That move is such a strong move. But if you miss, which it does have a high chance of missing, you deal a bunch of recoil damage to yourself. So it's high risk, high reward there. But there we go. Take him out with that Discharge right here. 10 Scorch to level 58. We got... Grap lock coming out here. Do you know who we're going with? We're going with our uh, Corviknight right here. He's just going to run things at this fighting gym because Flying owns on that fighting ground right there. Well, let's go, dude. We are rolling out here. We are rolling out here. We are going to be finishing up the main story of this game. But like I said, guys, I'm going to have one. Well, I don't know if I said this, but I'm going to have one bonus episode for this playthrough, which is going to be awesome. You guys will see what it is on later. So I hope you guys do. Well, are ready for that. Let's go. Drill peck this. Bye, Grap lock. You're dead. You're a lightweight, dude. He's not really a lightweight. He has a decent amount of health, but, like, he never really survives those kind of hits. Let's go. Anyone level up? Nope. Dude, we run in this. Far lane, dude. You're dead, dude. We're just going to drill peck you. <laughs> I like how after every battle, you're automatically healed. Like, you don't have to go back and heal up your Pokemon, which is nice. So, we can kind of just start running through all this stuff. Drill peck. Drill peck coming at you. Built. Bye, Phalanx. <laughs> That's what I love about, like, when I go off screen and kind of just, like, catch Pokemon. My Pokemon are leveled up, so they're higher level. We got Surfetch. Is Surfetch just fighting type? What is he? But he's dope, dude. Surfetch is absolutely dope, dude. I actually do not have one of them. I have a Farfetch, and I caught it with a leak, so we can actually get it. I think we're going to one-tap this fool. Let's see. We're going to use Drill Peck. Are we going to one-tap him? Bye, Surfetch! <laughs> oh, my lord. Just running this. Absolutely running this right here. This is the most run we ever had. Machamp. She's going, she's going to Gigamax at my champ. We're just going to Dynamax here and then use a flying move. You're done. You're done. Are we going to one-shot all this? We're going to one-shot all this? She's going to Gigantamax. We're going to Dynamax. So Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing is actually different. You can only Gigantamax with Pokemon who have that ability unlocked. So only certain Pokemon have that. But you have to catch them in their Dynamax form. Like Dread, my Dreadnought, her, the Nessus Dreadnought had a Gigantamax form. Mine does not because my, I did not catch mine with Gigantamax in it. You can get them from max raid battles in the wild area and all that good stuff. There we go. We're going to Dynamax our Corviknight right here. It's going to screech. It's going to screech right here. It hasn't even been touched either. Our Corviknight hasn't even been touched. Actually, none of our Pokemon have been touched. And we're just going to... She's going to Gigantamax her Machamp right here. But this... We should outspeed and this uh, flying Dynamax move should take it out one hit. You know what I'm saying, dude? He looks sick, dude. I love how his arms get, like, that bulkiness. Like, his forearms, there's bulkiness, and it looks like magma's kind of, like, seeping out of it. Like, dude, that looks so sick, dude. I love it. I love how his hands are that bright orange and all that. But there we go. We're going to send out this max airstream. We're going to say, bye, Machamp. B, that was too easy, dude. That was way too easy, B. We just murked on you, and we can actually... I think we have one more challenger left. We'll actually see that in just a second, but we just absolutely murked, and that XP is through the roof. Absolutely through the roof, and that's game over. I would love to give my Pokemon because if we do burst right hand, I would love to give my Pokemon either an Ice Berry or a Dragon Moon. So we, we might actually check our TMs in the meantime. There, let's go, dude. That cash, that cash, baby. Give me that cash. BS defeated has been defeated right here. Gene's gonna move on. We're gonna move on here. Thank you for a wonderful match. Yeah, you know, no problem. B, I got you. B, thank you. Man, it's so humble. I like B. <laughs> She's cool. But look, yes, we are going to actually move on and first Ray Hand in the final right here, which is awesome. I guess that bead match didn't really matter. Because that bead match was kind of like first, and then we put into a bracket right here. 
Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be moving on against Rayhan for the final battle here before the champion and all that good stuff. But I actually couldn't teach any of my Pokemon no fairy moves, ice moves, or dragon moves. So we're gonna be in for a nice battle here, considering we have like no super effective moves against any of his dragon types right here. But we're starting off with our Toxtricity like normal because we have that Boom Burst, which is a solid normal move and does a lot of damage. So let's get into this battle. I just have a feeling he's going to have that Duraludon in the last spot like he had last time. And that's going to be giving us a tough time the whole time. So that's my only problem. I feel like that is going to be the only problem. We have Discharge in case he has any just like flying types chilling around. And we have a uh, Boom Burst. But here's a Torkoal. Why are you starting off with a Torkoal? Is that weird? You're a dragon guy. Why you have a fire type? I, this, this is the least expecting Pokemon I, I got here. <laughs> like, I would never expect a Torkoal right here, but he's actually going to drought and the sunlight's going to be harsh. So his, uh, his fire moves are going to cook. They're going to cook here. Let's start off with a nice little uh, poison jab. We're going to go poison jab right off the bat here. Try to stick a poison out with it. I was just going to toxic him, but I feel like poison jab could do nice damage and boom burst can actually finish this off. He's going to yawn here. He's going to yawn. That's actually going to uh, put us to sleep within the next turn, but hopefully we can actually boom burst out here, finish off this Torkoal, and then be able to switch out our Pokemon. That would be nice. Let's see. Let's see. Beautiful. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now, kind of talks Trish. He's going to be off limits for the rest of this match right here. Because he's going to fall asleep next time he's out. There it goes. He is now asleep. So we're actually going to switch up our Pokemon. He's going to send out a Flygon. We're actually going to switch to our... Who do we want to switch to? Grab Block. Uh, Sense of Scorch. No. Real Boom. No. We're going to go to a Dreadnought. I actually gave my Dreadnought Rock Slide for this in case he had any flying types in the mix right here so we took out rock to gave him rock slides which is a stronger rock move for us to be able to start running things or at least try to start running things against this trainer right here but flygon's an absolute unit i gotta watch out for him i believe it might be rocking like ice beam or something oh it's not very effective here so we're actually gonna go for the we're gonna go for the scald right here i'm gonna go for the try to get the burn right here he's gonna sandstorm up which is gonna be a pain here which is actually gonna be a pain Dang, dude, we're all going to start getting buffeted by the storm. I don't think he woke because is he part, like, ground or something? Is he dragging and ground? I'm not too sure, but let's go with this skull. Can we pull off a burn here? That'd be beautiful. Burn him! Burn him! Critical hit. And a burn? No, no burn. Let's go with the liquidation. Try to drop it down just a little bit more. I should have. Oh, Earthquake's going to probably take us out. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Nope, we do survive this with 46 health. Not too bad, not too bad. We're going to liquidation this right here. Hopefully get some damage off, but not too much. Oh, kill it. Oh, no, he's going to full restore. He's going to full restore. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Waste one of his turns. We're going to... Why aren't we getting buffeted by the storm? It's a little weird, but we're going to liquidation here again. That thing did some work right there. Without even a crit. If we crit, dude, we can do some mean damage. Can I half it? There we go. Half it. And we're going to go first here. So, did we go first? No, he goes first. He's going to take out our Dreadnought. No! Hoo hoo, man. Like I said, dude, this right hand is going to give us a, give us a tough time. Which is tough. Which is tough. We're going to go out with our... Uh, who are we going to go out with? I think we're going to go out with our uh, Scorch right here. Hit him with a Fire Lash. I think a Fire Lash should be able to do some work on him. Maybe take him out. Let's give a quick peek at our moves. Let's see it. Let's go fight. Oh, it's not very effective. I guess Bug Bite's our only option. Or Crunch. But Earthquake. Earthquake doesn't, shouldn't do a lot of damage here. No, it shouldn't be too much. Yeah, not even more than half. Which is fine. we got to be able to take out this uh, Flygon here. Can we take it out? Take it out. Yes, yeah, Scorch. Scorch. I love Scorch. Scorch. He's always coming up clutching. He's always hitting hard when we need him. Let's go get some nice XP. Who we got? Sandstorm's going to subside right here. Who we got rolling out here? A Gujo, which is a dragon Pokemon. We're going to keep our current Pokemon. Gujo's an absolute beast. It is a shield exclusive. Look at this thing. Look at this. It's dripping all this goop and all that. It is. I think it's pure dragon. Uh, we're going to go with this Crunch right here. Let's get a little Crunch going here. Is it part dark? Hopefully not. No, it's not, but there we go. Nice damage, and we're going to drop its uh, defense, which is beautiful. It's going to send a rain dance. It is actually water and dragon, which is a cool combination. I love Gudra. He came out in X and Y. It was such a sick Pokemon. What was X and Y? Gen 6? Yeah, Gen 6 came out with. But here comes the rain, he says. But I think our Crunch actually might be able to kill, considering we just got that defense drop with it. So hopefully we can actually build it up. Take it out. Let's go, dude. That defense shot helped out so much, dude. That double crunch will actually finish off that Gudra. And we can actually level up a few Pokemon. Corviknight to level 60, boy. Our first level 60 Pokemon. And Turtonator is going to come out. There's our Dreadnought's dead. Do we have any water moves? Dude, Graplock is coming out. Considering I gave him that uh, water move, we have Waterfall rocking on him. So we can actually be super effective to this Turtonator, I believe. Is it part Dragon, actually? But I know it's Fire. Turtonator actually might be part Dragon. But I know it's uh, part Fire. So hopefully this will be super effective towards it. Let's see. Let's see. It's not. It is not. We're going to hit it with a Brick Break then. I think Brick Break would do more damage than that, uh, the, what's it called? 
the waterfall. But there we go. We're gonna break break out there, and then we're just gonna go straight for a. Uh, do we go superpower? Yeah, we're gonna finish this thing off with the superpower because I think actually uh, my grapplock is super effective to his Duraludon. But didn't I find that out at, at the end last time? But what's he using? Oh, he's gonna use this little uh, shell trap. We're gonna superpower up here. Actually, finish off this Turtonator right here with that hard hitting move right here. But our defense and attack's gonna drop. That is our only problem. But that thing is dead, which is just wonderful. We're actually doing better than I expected right here. We lost a few Pokemon. I think we just lost Dreadnought, right? But he has his Duraludon. This thing is an absolute unit. One of the rarest Pokemon to find out in the wild. But who we got? I mean, like, hopefully this thing. I know this thing's gonna Dynamax here, but I believe we're super effective towards it, right? I believe we are, right? We are, so we're gonna Dynamax, and we're gonna go with Max Knuckle. We're gonna Dynamax, run into Max Knuckle. Hopefully we can go first, but I don't think we're gonna one-shot this thing. This thing's a tank. This thing's an absolute tank, so... Let's roll out here. It's got level 55. This thing's an absolute beast. Absolute beast, dude. It's like a skyscraper. Crap block. Growing size. Show them who's boss. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, dude. I love how these gym challenges and all these battle stadium battles are so hype at all times, dude. That's why I love the battle system in this game. It's just phenomenal. I feel like it just it just always keeps the intensity up and always wanting you to like battle more and more. This is awesome. We get some more health. We're up to 267 plus about what was that? 100 health? 100 HP? But hopefully we can actually go strike first with Max Knuckle. We Oh no, he's using Max Knuckle. This should not take us out. We're part fun. Yeah. Poo poo damage right there. Poo poo damage. This will be super effective shot. And this attack's going to raise right here, but hopefully we can actually do some work with this. Can I take it out? Wait, one shot? No way. Jeez, this thing's a tank. This thing's an absolute tank. But our attack is going to raise back to normal this time. So we actually might be able to take him out here, which I'm hoping so he won't add the full restore. Because if we keep him alive here, what's it called? He's going to full restore. So hopefully this attack buff will actually bring it up and actually be able to finish this uh, bad boy off. Come on. Do it, crap block. Do it for the boys back home. No. Oh, dude, he's going to full restore. He's going to full restore here, which stinks. But now we're at attack plus two. So is he going to full restore? Hopefully not. No, we did not. Beautiful. Okay, there you go. Max steel spike. This should not kill. Of course it does kill. Now we cannot. Actually, we will be able to kill. But this thing's going to drop. Its attack keeps raising up with each attack it has. I'm surprised that Max Steel Spike actually killed him and you're outspeeding me. Which is pretty nuts. That's fine. This thing should actually be growing, done growing in size, right? We're going to drop out our real boom right here to actually finish off this battle with Ray Hand right here. <laughs> I love how the crowd's cheering along like with that music. But there we go. We're going to actually finish this off. Hopefully, Knockoff will actually do it. We're going to go with a Wood Hammer, actually. It's not very effective, but I think it should actually still finish this off. Finish them off. Let's go. Dude, the Raladon and Ray Hand is done. We defeated all the trainers here. And we're actually at the top spot, so our next battle would actually be with the champion. Let's get it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hype. I'm hype. Let's go. Let's see what you give me. He said you're going to the finals, which is awesome, against champion Leon. Challenger Gene sees his victory. My lovely Pokemon and I become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us beyond anything I imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed, and you've got the whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Yo, Ray Hand, thank you so much, buddy. But there we go. We make it to the finals against Leon, which I'm hyped for. What do we got going on here? Let's see what is happening. All right, the big moment's finally here. Yes, it is hot. Let's get it. Yo, look, yes, there's Inteleon next to him. He said, what? <laughs> Which is hilarious. Let's roll out here, dude. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. I am so ready for this. Inteleon's hilarious. He actually looks so cool. Like I said, dude, I didn't like him at first, but... <laughs> He's sick. Let's go, dude. Off against the champion. Let's get out there. Let's head out there and do this. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. See what we got, dude. Look, he's standing there with his cape on and all that. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, yo. What's up, Lee? What is up, big dog? You ready for this? I don't think he's ready. I don't think he is ready at all. 
for me to give him the quick little weapons. <laughs> he's talking about him and his charge. I know he's gonna whap on us and all this. And look at this, yo. We take a step back. Oh lord. Oh yes, dude. Wait, hold on, audience. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Oh no. Oh no. Hello there, Leon Jeans. Just letting you know. Oh, we got some drastic music. I told you this guy's up to no good. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. This hunk of junk. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my lord, what is he doing? I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. And here we go. We cannot face off against Leon because the darkest day is among us right here. The chairman is actually screwing everything over. And we actually have to go deal with that before we even do anything. So Leon actually went off to go deal with the chairman right here. And me and Hop are actually talking about the prophecy back at Hammerlock. How it had the sword and shield. And then Hop brought up how the sword and shield was back at the slumbering wield. Those two Pokemon that we saw in the beginning, the shield legendary and the sword legendary, are back at the slumbering wield. So we have to actually go back there and actually go over there to actually protect Galar and the Darkest Day. So we are back at the beginning right here, which is crazy. We were just about to beat the champion or verse off against them. And now we're back at the slumbering wield trying to save the Darkest Day right here. But we are actually ready to go into this place and go see these legendaries. Sonya gives us three max revives. Now let's get in there, yo. Let's get this. Yo, let's roll. Let's go into the slumbering wheel. We got all this soft music. Yo, look at these Pokemon. I ain't trying to deal with no wild Pokemon here. We were here to beat the champion. I ain't trying to deal with no Pokemon. Only legendaries. <laughs> here, what we got? We got these Blip Bugs. Leave me alone, Blip Bugs. Get out of here. <laughs> they shouldn't even have any wild Pokemon in this grass right here. They kind of just defeats the purpose. Like, we're here. The dark stays amongst. We have to go to the slumbering wheel, which we are in, and go get these legendary boys. Come on, let's go. What do you want? We're running here. Let's hop up here. I've never been this far in here. Jeez, this place is actually huge. Did we make it this far before? I think we actually... Oh my god, a glaring wheezing. <laughs> More of them. Look at these boys. <laughs> let's keep rolling out here. Oh, we got an orb beetle. Oh my god, this place is actually huge. Which way do we go? I just keep going straight. What's over here? Oh, a pokeball. Cool, a metal herb. <laughs> Anything else this way? I think it's just gonna lead back. We're gonna hop on our bicycle. Oh, and we hear a little howl, dude. That sounds like the exact howl that was with the legendary sword Pokemon. Let's go. Here's Hop. There we go. Make our way all the way over here. Let's get it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. What's with the fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Yeah, but this place is expanded. We only went like a little bit forward, and then we were stopped by the uh, Zacian, the sword Pokemon. <gasps> and there they are! Zacian and Zamazenta. Dude, look at these boys. They're sick! I love their design. They're so cool. Are we going to get a chance to catch them here? I would love that. And they just disappear in the fog. No! I wanted them! Are we not going to catch them? Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Dude, I really want to catch these Pokemon. I would love to catch them right now. That would be awesome. And then we can take them into battle with us. <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that, even if we do catch him. Well, what are we doing now? We're going to head up here, bring on my bicycle, make things a little bit smoother and quicker. Let's go hop. This place is actually huge. We're going to actually come, have to come back here later, like in my live stream, to catch all these Pokemon. Oh, my Lord. Look at this place. Is this their little, like, sitting area? This is gorgeous. <laughs> are you kidding me? Would you take a look at that, Jeans? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like stuff of legend. Exactly. Exactly, dude. Where are my boys, Amazetta and Zacian, dude? We get Zacian. He's the shield Pokemon. Hopefully, we can catch him. Like I've been saying, dude. I want to catch him so bad. That's why. Let's go. We sit here. We got this little grape. And there's a sword and a shield chilling there. Like in the prophecy. Look at that. That's a tiny sword, though. Oh, and it had a little, like, paw mark that looks like Zacian's paw. That's pretty cool. Kind of like that. See that, Jeans? The sword and shield. The legends really were true. They were. Let's go up to him and see everything. Let's see this. Look at this. Pick up this sword. Come on, pick it up. Do we have to put it in that little holder? You obtain the rusted sword. It is said the hero used this sword to haul a terrible disaster in ancient time, but it's grown rusty and worn. That sells it. I'm taking the shield. 
the wow would you look at the state of this thing it seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny yeah this thing is looking pretty old but i love the design to it how it has like all the mossy stuff it just makes it look perfect like i think they have a perfect design to it but what are we gonna do with this sword and shield are we actually gonna help out the uh, darkest day with them so let's, let's see what hop has to say let's see what he has to say if anyone's gonna help lean lee now i guess it's just you and me mate he's probably still at hammerlock stadium trying to keep the darkest day at bay so what do you say jeans want to grab a fine taxi and head there let's go dude let's head over there looks like we're not going to be catching the sword and shield pokemon no no zassian for us right now i guess we can catch him post game then but we're heading towards the hammerlock right here the hammerlock tower with the sword and shield we actually have the rusted sword and the rusted shield which will probably come in clutch later but we have right hand right here he's going to talk to us and give us all this good information Let's go. We talked to Ray Hand right here. He says we got to go into Hamrock Stadium to actually go protect Lee and all that good stuff or help him out. But what's called Leon or Hop already actually went over there and ran ahead of us right here. But we got Mrs. Olena right here who we already whooped on. And she says she needs help now. Like, what do you mean you need help? I already murked on you. You you were going against us. <laughs> but she says Exernius is actually up at the top right here. Dynamaxing and... If you guys don't know who Exernius is, it is actually that ancient Pokemon that he called out during Doomsday. So he is a legendary Pokemon that we have to go towards. Oh my lord, look, Hop's here. Let's go over here. What do we got? It's gonna be crazy. We got the Chairman chilling here. And what was that? An egg that broke out? Was this the Pokemon Doomsday he was making? The Doomsday Pokemon? And what do you plan on doing, Gym Challenger? Stopping the darkest day. Uh, pardon, what are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We already brought about the darkest day, or should I say the ultimate Pokemon, Externius. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand, but I provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That is why we've been given the wishing stars to Externius. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock. That was all part of our experiments to awake Externius. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Oh, dude. Oh, and we get to battle this guy. But he actually released Externius Doomsday on us. Externius is an absolute, the ultimate Pokemon. He is unreal. Absolute beast in this game. But we actually have to first this guy. He is, what's he have? A steel type? His Excalibur right here, starting off right now. We actually never seen an Excalibur, but we can actually Dynamax here. We actually have to whoop on this fool. We have to give him a nice little whoop. And we're just going to start off with a nice little Boom Burst. But he has some high level Pokemon, level 55. Jeez. Let's go. Boom Burst right off the bat. Let's see how much damage. That is not very effective. Jeez. I should have known. Normal's not very effective to steal. Not a big deal, though. Not a big deal right now. This guy's got some cool Pokemon. He's going to use Drill Run. Jeez. This might do some work on us. Yep. Bye, Toxtricity. Uh oh. This chairman's got some goodies, man. But we're going to bring out our Sense Scorch. Our Sense Scorch should be able to just start teeing off on this Steel type right here. I think it's just going to be able to one-tap it up. Say night-night, you're gone. Ooh, this music, baby. Oh, dude, it's, this is hype music right here. Let's go. See you later, Excalibur. Built dead. Fire Lash is sick. It's just like, whoops. <laughs> Let's go. Get some mean XP here. He's going to send out Clink Clank. Ooh, another Steel type. Is he all Steel? If so, dude, our Sense Scorch is just going to... Own it. <laughs> Let's go. What you want, Clink Clank? Fire Lash coming out at you. Oh, he goes first. He's going to Wild Charge up here. Eee. Not even that much damage. I didn't even worry about it. I didn't even worry about it. I need to take some recoil damage. So we should be able to actually one tap this fool. Actually, I don't know. These uh Pokemon are pretty high low. 56. Jeez. Jeez, man. Well, let's go. We got a couple levels ahead of him. Berserker's gonna come out. I believe that thing's steel, dude. Berserker is actually the second stage of Galarian Meat Alf. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Looks hilarious. Fire Lash, super effective. Hopefully, we can one tap it up. Whoops. Take it out. Yeah. <laughs> Chairman stands no chance with us right now. Absolutely no chance. We we're just murking on this fool. What do you want? What do you want? He's gonna sound out. Who was it? I'm. I, I didn't even read it, but I'm just gonna keep it. Oh, it's Farathorn, dude. What is he? Grass and steel. That's night night for him. See you later. Fire Lash coming out. I actually should have Dynamax right here to secure this death rate up because I know this thing's pretty tanky. Oh, but we do get the one tap. So he's going to Iron Bars, but we have to Dynamax our next Pokemon considering he's going to Dynamax his Pokemon. So we kind of counteract that and maybe get that one tap off. Hopefully it's still Steel. Grab Block levels up to 59. He's going to send out Copper Jaw, which is all Steel. All Steel. And does this thing have a Dynamax form or a G Gigantamax form? But yo, this chairman's got some cool Pokemon. But yo, he ain't no match for us. He ain't no match for Jeans. 
Let's go. We're going to fight. Hit that Dynamax. Use Max Flare. And hopefully finish off this Copper Jaw. Dude, I love Copper Jaw. I love his design and all that. He's sick. But, yo, we got to finish off this boy and actually go save Leon from that Exernius, which is on top of the Hammerlock Stadium right now. So this is what we have to do. And then we can face off against the champion, Leon. And we're going to be doing all this right now in this video. Let's get, let's get crushing, dude. Sent the Scorch. Mean 319 total HP right here. Let's keep rocking out here. What you want, fool? What you what you want? What's he gonna do? He's gonna Gigantamax or Dynamax this thing? Because I think this thing has a Gigantamax form. Let's see. Let's give it a quick peek. It does, dude. Jeez. Absolute unit. Look at his nose. Look at his nose. And I know this thing's at an absolute tank. I know it's an absolute defense tank, so I think we're gonna have to actually take two shots for his copper shot to die. But if we one tap it, that'd be unreal. That'd be absolutely unreal. Let's see. No way. Oh my god, I was gonna say no way we one tapped him. He is on exactly like one HP right here. <laughs> and when the sunlight turned hard, she's gonna use Max Mindstorm here, which is a psychic move. That might kill us. No, no. Does not kill us right here. We are chilling. This Max Chairman's gonna eat it right here. Unless he, I think he's gonna full restore. No doubt my mind full restores. Things out a little weird, it says. We're gonna max fire again. So he's gonna full restore, I bet. He does not! What do you mean? I thought he was gonna full restore, but that's even better for us. We can finish off this copper shot and finish off the chairman's Pokemon. And go after that Exernius. Exernius is an extreme legendary, dude. Let's get it. Let's go. We level up Senta Scorch. He wants to learn what? Lunge? Let's see what I actually kind of want to see it real quick. Lunge is a bug move. See a bug bite. <laughs> There we go. We learned a move right here. Trying to level up to 58 also. But there we go. We finished off the chair, man. Let's roll out here. Let's go get some. I'm ready, boy. I'm ready. Most impressive genes. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the champion match between you two. And I am terribly sorry to ruin the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but I can't be helped. In order to solve that energy issue as soon as possible... We awakened experience, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. What you want, Rose? What you want, dude? He's gonna go up, or is he gonna? Is this like an elevator that brings us up here? But I'm ready to go take on Exernius and help Leon out with this battle. Let's go. We're backing up here. We're going. We're going up. We got to go find the lift system. Which way? It's right over here, isn't it? It's right here. Let's go hop. Let's go. We are ready. We're going to make our way to the top and actually see this Pokemon. We actually just did. It just took us there real quick. And jeez. This is Exernius, the extreme darkest day Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Absolute beast. Oh my lord. Lee's Charizard doesn't even stand a chance standing there right there. Oh my lord. What a unit. Thing's huge. And I'm just amazed at this Pokemon right here. Let's go. Throw out your Pokemon. Oh, he's trying to capture this thing. Get it, Lee. Is he going to catch it? <laughs> oh, look at Charizard. Yo, he protects us. And the Pokeball breaks in half. This thing's an absolute beast. Oh my lord. Do we have to take this thing down or something? Oh lord, we're in a battle with it. We're in a battle with it. Exernius appeared. What kind of type is this thing? It's like a dragon type? We're starting off with our boy Rillaboom. Can we capture it right here? Uh, let me check his info out. Let's go, Exernius. It doesn't even give us a type here. Can we catch this thing? Let's go drum, drum beating the stars off here. This thing's gonna outspeed us probably. Dynamax cannon? Are you kidding me? Jeez. This thing's an absolute unit. Let's go, dude. We burst in this bad boy right here. Let's do some damage. It's not very effective right now. But we're gonna drop its uh, speed, which is nice. It's probably still going to be faster than us. We're going to go for a knockoff here. Can we be faster? We are faster than it now. We're going to go for this knockoff here. Deal, deal a little bit of damage. Hopefully flinch him. Nope, he's going to use cross poison and take us out. That Dynamax cannon was unreal. But we're going to try to catch this bad boy. We're going to go for it. I would love to have this thing on my team. Who are we going out with next? We're going to go out with my boy. Uh, Actually, we're going to go with level 60 Corviknight. Got to go with the Corviknight. Absolute unit right here. Let's roll out. What you want? 
unnerved. No eating berries for you, Exernius. We're gonna go with that nice little drill peck. Start off with that. I was gonna confuse it, but I don't want to do anything. Oh my god, dude. It's definitely a dragon type. That's dragon poles. Ooh, okay. Not very effective. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go with drill peck here. See how that does work. Oh, nice damage, buddy. Nice damage. We're gonna go another drill peck. Then go for the catch after this. He's gonna use dragon poles. Can we catch this thing? That's that's the real question. I want to know if we can catch this bad boy. Because that would be awesome. Let's go rolling out a drill pack. Don't you dare kill it. There you go. Bring it down to the red. Let's try to throw a Pokeball here. Where's my uh, Ultra Balls? Where you at, Ultra Balls? Let's go. Oh, we cannot throw a Pokeball, so we're just going to have to defeat it. Okay, we're just going to have to defeat this thing here. This actually might take it out. This thing has Flamethrower, too. It's rocking out with his moves. Jeez. Bye-bye, Corviknight. Absolute unit here. Absolute unit. This Pokemon is just slamming on my team. Who are we going to go out with? We're going to go with Grabot. Can't believe... Hop didn't heal up our Pokemon before we actually went in here. Like, what a joke. He does it with, like, the little team battles and all that. But Grapplock's gonna actually... We're gonna actually use the super power with him. He's gonna cross poison. This shouldn't take out our, uh, Grapplock. Yeah, I was gonna say, we should be chilling here. Super power should actually finish this bad boy off. I'm kind of mad we couldn't throw a Pokeball at it. But let's go. Beautiful. And now what happens? What's gonna happen? Ooh-wee, dude. Slapped on that bad boy. I don't know why Leon just didn't do that. Oh my lord! What is it doing? Wow! This is in. This is just insane. This is unreal. The Pokemon is outdoing themselves with this battle. What is it doing? It's just changed forms? Just like, like Gigantamax or something? What is it doing? This is insane here. Exernius right here appeared. We gotta battle him again in Gigantamax form. Did our Pokemon heal up? I think they did. I think our whole team did heal up. We have our uh, Toxtricity back, which is nice. Let's take it on together, Hop said. This is a double battle right here. And why are you using your double? <laughs> that is my question. Can we toxic this bad boy? Let's see if we can toxic it. What? I can't use any moves. Why can't I use any moves? Let's try a uh, boom burst. Yeah, can we use any of these moves? I forgot. We found the sword and shield in the slumbering wield. So now what do we do? Do we fight? This charge? Do I keep trying to fight this thing? Yeah. Gene, use the sword. It might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. I got it. Let's use it. What is this going to do? Oh my lord. What is going on? Oh, the boys are back. Look at them. Oh. What did this do? Dude, this is absolutely crazy. I, I'm loving this battle. Ooh. What did that do? That like knock off his energy or something? Oh my lord! <gasps> Dude, are you kidding me? You can't be serious right now. Zacian and Zamazeta come in here. <gasps> oh my lord, this is absolutely unreal. What are they doing? This is, like, this is like their true form with the shield and sword on them. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm speechless right now. This is crazy. Ooh wee! Yo, we got them on our team now? Zassian's attack is raising. And probably... Zamazeta's defense is raising with the sword and shield. That is awesome. Exerting is going to exert pressure. Now we can fight him. Let's get it. Let's... I don't want to hit all my whole team. So we're going to drop a toxic on him. 
We are going to drop a Toxic on him, try to get a nice big poison on him. Zacian's going to Hell and drop its attack, which is awesome. Or, oh no, what's it do? It's raising our attack. Ooh, thank you, Zacian. And our doubles attack. Everyone's attack, is it? <laughs> Yo, what a move, raising everyone's attack to start us off here. Simon said it's going to use the light screen. Ooh, protect us up, dude. Are you kidding me? We're fighting alongside these boys. He's going to use max. What is this? This thing looks unreal. Oh, double got whooped on. Got absolutely whooped on right there. But let's go, dude. We're going to have to battle this bad boy. Can we toxic this guy? It doesn't affect him. Are you kidding me? Dang, dude. Nice little double edge coming out. Hey, it looks like we can use moves now. Let's go. Let's fight, yo. We're gonna go. We're gonna go straight for this poison jab. Or does poison just not affect them? Or poison moves? Do they just not affect him? He's gonna use blade. What does this do? Do some. Oh, oh. Jeez, that a boy's assian. I want to see uh, Zamas at this move. Behemoth bash. Are you kidding me? What's that doing? Yes, dude. Keep doing work on this bad boy. He's going to use max fire. Probably going to drop it on a double. Oh, no. Going in for a Zacian. Jeez, that's super effective. Can he take him out? That'd be pretty crazy. Can we just not... Do poison moves just not work on this thing? If so, we're going to have to take out our toxicity here. Poison jab does work. We just cannot poison him at all, but it's not very effective. We're going to have to switch out Pokemon here. Double is going to use double edge here. We're just going to keep taking this thing down. Guys, we got this Xerneas down to red health right here. We're going to finish him off right here. Hopefully, this Amazetta will actually attack too with us, which would be awesome. We're going to use our knockoff here because everything else is not very effective <laughs> to this thing. Let's go. Our attack is plus two. I think his defense is uh, minus two right here. Let's see how much damage he does. Oh, he's so low. He's so low. This actually battle is taking us a while. Don't either take out my Rillaboom. Okay, cool. He's going after Zacian. Don't die. <gasps> Zacian's done. No. Our boy just died. Can we finish him off here? We missed? It's okay. Hop actually took him out. Yes! There you go. Exernius is now taken down here. Let's see what happens. This is it. Hurry, Jeans. Try to catch Exernius now. We can catch him. Give me my Ultra Ball. Give me my Ultra Ball. Get in here. Get in here. We're going to catch this bad boy. Yo, are you kidding me? This is absolutely crazy. We need three wiggles. Come on, get in here. Can this thing suck it up? <gasps> it can. Let's go. Come on, give me this bad boy. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. Click it. Click it. Let's go. We caught him. We caught this thing. And we stopped the darkest day. Dude, that was intense. That was absolutely insane. Dude, Pokemon just nailed that battle. They nailed it. And look at this. We got Zacian and Zamazetta right there who came to protect us with the sword and shield. And they're going to actually head back. We actually, I think we got to get them post-game. They're post-game things. So, guys, after we defeated and caught Xerneas, three days have actually passed and everything has been settled down. The chairman has actually been arrested for doing the Darkest Day thing. And we can actually go into this Winden Stadium and face off against the champion. Which I am actually very hyped for. We just have, just have to go register and we can do the final battle. We say we're ready for him. So, let's get it, guys. Let's finish this playthrough. Let's beat the champion here and do this. I got my Toxtricity rolling in the front spot. And I'm ready to go. I am ready to go against Leon right here. <laughs> this game has been absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorites for the Switch, hands down. Hands down, probably my favorite Pokemon game too. Yo, it's finally came here. I remember us picking up our Grookey, and now we're going to beat this guy. He gave us our Pokemon, and we're going to have to beat him with it. <laughs> Let's go, Lee. We're going to have an absolute champion time, Zed. <laughs> It's time, dude. It is time. Only thing I'm going to be worried about is that Giga Max Charizard. i never seen anything like it. That's going to be crazy. Let's go. We got Leon just chilling right here. Our boy. Our boy. The champion battle. The final battle for this playthrough. Let's get into this and win this. I'm guessing he has six full Pokemon. Yes, he has. He has a full team. Starting off with Angie Slash right here. Actually, never seen an Angie Slash yet. 
Actually, we might have, but we got Toxicity. I think, uh, what are we gonna do? I think we're gonna roll out with, uh, with a Toxic right off the bat. I think that's how we're gonna start off. I think we're gonna start off with a nice little Toxic here. And then, um, switch out to our, uh, Synth Scorch. I think that'll be our best play. Let's go, Toxic. It doesn't affect him. He's Ghost. Oh, no! And he's gonna Stance Change. So, Angie Slash's, uh, ability is he Stance Changes when he's on the attack. He switches to an attack form, and when he's on defense, he switches to a defense form, and jeez, dude, that thing just murked on me. I'm actually just going to, uh, I'm just going to go for a discharge here. See if we can do any damage to him, at least, because our toxic jersey is going to go down anyway. There we go. Nice damage, buddy. Let's go. He's going to shadow ball, though, and actually take us out, which is not that big of a deal. We're fine. We're fine. We're chilling. We'll actually take that hit. He actually critted, too, but it would have killed us either way. We we're actually going to switch out into our, uh, sent to scorch and kind of get, uh, just uh, know that we'll be quicker than saying he's slash and actually take it out. So let's go. Sent Scorch. Get out there, big dog. We got this final battle. I didn't even, I didn't even see what level his Pokemon are on. I know, all I know is that it's going to be a tough battle. I just got to save my Dreadnought for the end for that Charizard. 62. Are you kidding me? 62. Are you serious? He's got a full restore, but it's okay. We use a Fire Lash. It will be super effective. So we actually might be able to one tap this boy up, which I'm hoping. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Let's go, let's go, Sent the Scorch, dude, this Pokemon are high level, it's weird, like, the trainers that we burst in the beginning of this video were, like, 54, 53, and then Mr. Chairman was, like, 57, and now these guys are 60-something, it's gonna go with Seismic Toad, you know who we're switching to, we're switching to our Rillaboom right here, we're gonna go with a nice little drum beat and hopefully knock it out in one hit, let's roll out, dude, that thing was level 62, his charger has gotta be, like, 63, 64, just an absolute unit. Let's go, dude. Seismic level 64. Jeez. Let's go. What you want, Seismic Toad? As long as he doesn't have an ice move, we will be chilling here. Which I do not believe the Seismic Toad will. It is ground and uh, water. Oh, we just could take it out. Woo! One shot at your Seismic Toad, boy! What you want? What you want, fool? Nice XP. 3,500. He's going to go Cinder Rinse right here. Jeez. He had the score by his whole time, dude. We're going to go Dreadnought in this. We just got, so we got to take out the Cinderance and, what's it called? And that Charizard with our Dreadnought, so we got to actually save our Dreadnought after this. He's going to send out Cinderance. We're going to go Liquidation instead of Skull here, because um, Liquidation does a little bit more damage than Skull, and I don't think we're going to really burn him. So, oh, Rock Slide's super effective, too. He's going to use Acrobatics. Jeez, he's not flying move. That shouldn't do too much damage to us. So we're actually chilling. Let's go Liquidation here. Come on, do some work on him. Nice damage. Take him out. Oh, no, it does not take him out. Which, that's fine. We're actually going to go for a Scald in case he full restores. I think he will. No, Pyro Ball. Yo, look at this. This is Cinderrinse's move. That's his special move. Kind of like our drum beating. That move is sick. It's just a little... Starts off with a little rock. Then he dribbles it up and soccer kicks it ass. But we're actually going to take out the Cinderrinse now and finish him off. Dude, how many more Pokemon? We have three. Three for the champion. Is that right? Ooh, that XP. Everyone's going up to level 60 and all that good stuff. Who are you guys going to send out? Hagstrick. Ooh, this is going to be our toughest one. It's going to be our toughest one. Who are we going to go up with? Um, I have no idea. I'm going to go with our uh, Scent of Scorch right here. I think he's going to be our best bet because this thing is a Dragon type. And like I said, this Dragon types are the only Pokemon that we struggle with on our team. Let's go. I think we're going to roll out with a Crunch right here. Try to do some work on him. But dude, look at Haxorus, dude. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. I like his little, like, his what's around his face. Like, he has, like, those saws right there. He's going to use Outrage. This is a beast of a dragon move. Oh! Ho, ho. A crit it. Of course it did. Of course it crit it. I wouldn't expect the champion to crit. Um, let's go Corviknight. Let's go Corviknight. I think bird moves will, it will be pretty solid against them. Because I think dragon's not too good against the steel. Let's go. Let's try Joel Pack. This might not be very effective. But this shouldn't do too much. Let's see. Yeah, it shouldn't do too much. It's not very effective because we are part steel here. And he confused himself, which is that is actually huge. That's actually huge that he confused himself. Because he can actually deal some damage to himself. That's what we're going to be hoping on this turn. That he deals damage to us himself and then we drill peck him down and kill him. No, he uses outrage again. Are you kidding me? How is he landing all these outrages? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Not very effective. Can we get a crit? Come on! Nope. No crit for us. We're going to go for drill peck. He might full restore here. No, he's confused. Hurt yourself. Come on. Yes, dude, he actually finished his own Hexers off with his Confusion. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're whooping out here. Joel Peck's not going to do anything. He's going to send out Dragapult. We're going to keep current Pokemon. Jeez, dude, this team is sick. Look at Dragapult. This is the pseudo-legendary for this game. 
Dragapult's an absolute unit. We're gonna drill pack him here, right here. He's gonna use Flamethrower to actually take out our Sense of Scorch, or not our Sense of Scorch, our Corbin Knight. Don't worry, we do have some Max Revives chilling in our bag if we have to use them. But geez, it, what is it, 2v3 right now? Or 2v2 and a half? It's close, dude. It is close. Yeah, two and a half. Who are we gonna go with? Who are we gonna go with? Hmm. I'm gonna go with Grab Block. I'm gonna go with Grab Block here. This thing's part ghost, so we cannot use. We can only use Waterfall here. So, mm. look at his tail. I just realized his, to his tail's like transparent. We're just gonna keep Waterfall. This thing's gonna Shadow Ball. I think we're gonna have to uh, actually start Max Reviving. So let's see how much damage this does. Yeah, we're gonna start Max Reviving after this and actually healing up our team. We'll deal damage with that. See, dude, not even that much. It's not very effective. So we're actually gonna roll out to our bag. Actually pull out our max revives and take turns doing this. So we're gonna go with a Corviknight right off the bat. We're gonna try to get our Corviknight and Sent the Scorch max revive and let our Octopole just take the hits. <laughs> like I think he's gonna die anyway, so we're just gonna let him take the hits here. Let's see. Oh, he died right there. Jeez, dude, jeez. So I feel like we're gonna go straight into our Corviknight. We're gonna go with Corviknight here. Do I max my Corviknight is the question. No, we are not. We're not. We're gonna save it for that Dreadnought against that Charizard. That is gonna be our best bet in my opinion. I think that's what we gotta do. We're gonna go with this drill pack right here. Dude, he's so quick! And he has flamethrower! Right, it does not take us out. Jeez, man. Drill pack him up. Can we do some work on that? Come on. Oh. We're gonna go with uh We're gonna go with uh, drill pack once again. Come on, don't use flamethrower, we'll be fine. We're dead. No! Oh my lord, this thing's an absolute unit. I think we're gonna roll out into our what's it called? Our dreadnought here. I think that's what we're gonna do. Dreadnought, because uh Real Boom will not be able to take anything. Uh, Real, Null's, uh, Real Boom's just gonna be a tank for us to use Max Revives. Hands down. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna go? We're gonna go into a Rock Slide here. It's gonna use Thunderbolt. That shouldn't even do work on me. It takes me out. Are you kidding me? Oh my lord, dude. Real Boom. We are just using. He might take out Real Boom in one hit. Alright, so first up, we're gonna go with Max Revive and Sent to Scorch. Then to uh, Corviknight. And then Dreadnought. I think that's the plan. Dude, his Pokemon are absolute units here. Absolute units. It's unreal. Use this on Sent Scorch. Alright, Max Revive Sent Scorch. Holy god, dude. He has some mean Pokemon. Don't do not one-shot me. You one-shot me, we're in trouble. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're not in trouble. We're chilling now. Back again. Max Revive. Dreadnought. This thing has everything to counter me. Legit. This guy is an absolute unit. Flamethrower takes out a Rillaboom. Now, what's the plan here? We go in the Sent to Scorch here. And I think we go for the takeout. This thing's gonna outspeed us either way. We're gonna go for the takeout here. Like, everything he has is just working on us. I think we should get our Toxicity up, but we're gonna go for our uh, Fire Lash right here. Try to do some work on him. He's gonna use Shadow Ball. Oh my lord! So eat it. Mm, eat that up, baby. Eat it up. Let's go. No, don't you dare full restore. Don't you dare full restore. We're going for this bug move launch right here. He's going to use Shadow Ball. We eat this up. We eat this up all day. All day we eat this up. Nice, nice, nice. We can actually take out this Dragapult right here. He was a challenge, dude. A huge challenge. And he's going to go out into his uh his Charizard. This is his final Pokemon. His Gigamax Charizard. And we're down to two. We're down to one. We're going to keep current Pokemon. And we're actually going to uh, heal up our Toxtricity. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it smart here. Because his charge are probably gonna outspeed us. We're gonna heal up our toxicity and play it safe here. Let's go bag. Back to the max revives. Oh my lord. Luckily we do have these. We're gonna go toxicity. Pull him out of here. And then I think um if he does survive this next hit, I know he's probably not. He's gonna gigant the max. Max flare us and then it's night night. Or not max flare. He's gonna use something else. If he does max flare, we actually could survive. The Sent the Scorch can tank up just a little bit. Which is wonderful, but this battle is absolutely unreal. Look at that! Gigantamax Charizard is a unit. Absolute unit. What you want, Charizard? What you want, fool? Max Rockfall. There we go. We're going down with that. Ooh -hoo. Jeez, murked us. We're going straight into our Dreadnought. We're Dynamaxing our Dreadnought. And trying to get a hit off on him. Because he has a rock move and a fire move, so I think we should be kind of chilling here. Unless he has some type of grass move. He's going to get buffeted by the sandstorm. Get out there, Dreadnought. Get out there. I think I might have should have went for the Toxtricity right there. 
and try to get a toxic off on him because that would have been huge for us. But we're gonna go, we're gonna fight right off the bat. Go with Max Geyser. Do, 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 do. I think we got this one. I think we're chilling. This thing is a high level. Unreal how, how high his level Pokemon are. We should have just brought Exerneus into the battle and just murked. <laughs> that would have been unfair. Let's go, Dreadnought. Let's go, buddy. Finish this off for us. Can you outspeed? I don't think he's outspeeding. Six level differential. That's crazy. What do you mean this thing has max overgrowth? What do you mean? Oh my god, guys. We were able. Don't you dare kill us. Don't kill us. Oh my god. We were able to get a toxic off on this thing. Can that take it out? Take it out. Yes, dude, we did it! Dude, I stalled that match so much. I dropped a couple revives. I got the Toxic off. Our Toxtricity was our last Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Toxtricity came up clutch with the Toxic, and we just stalled it out, and we're able to take out that Charizard after he took out a lot of our Pokemon. But we did it, guys. My time as a champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I ever had. Look at that casual guy. Oh, my lord, that battle was insane. He was so strong. For real, yo, I wasn't even expecting his Pokemon to be that strong. That was unreal way to actually end this game. This game has just been phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. We did it. We are the new champion, guys. Congratulations, Jeans. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become the first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Wow, dude, this game is awesome. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's my time to start looking ahead of myself. It's time we adults start working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that to come. And you, Jeans, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner, Pokemon, and keep on blasting in order to create that bright future we all hope to see. Let's go! We did it! Yo, we did it! Guys, yo, this game has been phenomenal. We are the new champion, and we beat everything to do in the main story. We are going to be taking on the post game on my Twitch channel. Link will be in the description below, so go down there, follow me, and all that good stuff. Let's go. We did it. Yes, yeah, dude. That is crazy. That is just crazy. But guys, that is going to be it for this playthrough. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.